Good evening everyone and welcome back to the Fantasy Football Fix YouTube channel to yet another daily price predictions video. This is where we come to you every day at 8.30 British time to bring you the very latest in price rises and price falls in the world of fantasy football to help you best improve your team value and achieve the best possible score this year and your best possible overall rank. So if you're looking to improve that squad value, which some numbers I'm seeing already are very impressive this week, then you're certainly in the right place to do that. So without further ado, let's jump into it and help you price change your way to a top 10k. Now the main price riser we're looking at tonight is going to be Saeed Benrahma of West Ham, who managed to score himself 12 points with a goal and assist and two bonus in West Ham's 4-2 victory on the opening day of the season against Newcastle. The Algerian managed three total shots with an XG of 0.49 and an expected assist of 0.44. And if you look at the fixed heat map just to the left of me now, you can see the average position of Saeed Ben Rama, which did seem to be in that kind of Lingard role that we saw him occupying when he was on loan from Manchester United last season. Now, Ben Rama obviously had great success not only in pre season in that number 10 role just behind Antonio, but also obviously on the opening day of the season, and it could look set to continue. However, there's still rumours that the Englishman Lingardino himself may return back to the Hammers, and that could be on a permanent deal or even on a loan move, and there's still time in the transfer window. Nonetheless, there have been 34,000 transfers in today alone for Ben Rama, and he's rising at 1.2% per hour. At this point, we're predicting he'll rise in price tonight, as he's already passed the 100% threshold, and he's sat at over 103%. Saeed Ben Rama's predicted to score 15.4 projected points over the next five game weeks, which is interestingly, though, behind Ismaili Saar, who returned nine points against Aston Villa, who's got a projected points total over the next five game weeks of 21.3. So could we be going for the right man, or perhaps do we want to look elsewhere and not be so reactionary to 12 points over 9 points on the opening day of the season? Nonetheless, Benrahma looks set to rise in price tonight, which is what we're predicting here at Fix, and you can use the free app to track all the latest in player rises and falls, and also beat the majority of players to those price rises, improve your team value the most, and give you the best chance of doing well in Fantasy Premier League. But moving on to the second player who looks set to rise today, unlike Kai Havertz who we covered yesterday and looks set to drop tonight, Marcus Alonso did in fact put in a fantastic display during Chelsea's 3-0 win at the opening day of the season at Stamford Bridge, home to Crystal Palace. Alonso's heat map, which you can see to the left of me right now, made for a pleasing sight for owners, and easily could have returned more than just the one time he did with his three total shots and two attempted assists. But if we compare to another 5.5 defender who likewise to Alonso had a very comfortable home victory and first game of the season in United's 5-1 thrashing against Leeds, Luke Shaw's heat map doesn't actually look as strong as Alonso's and the Spaniard actually looks a bit more advanced than the Englishman. So although Luke Shaw's on a few set pieces himself, Alonso does actually have the edge with those free kicks that are very close to the goal and he does actually seem a better option than Luke Shaw when he's on the pitch potentially. However, with Ben Chilwell back, fit and ready available for Tuchel's side, it looks like Alonso's minutes are going to be limited for the rest of the season. It's a real shame for owners and those looking to bring in Alonso, as on set pieces in arguably the most defensively sound team in the league, who are bringing in a new big money striker who loves to score goals, Alonso could have been one hell of an option this year, as he has been in the past for FBL. So Alonso's currently sat at 97.7%, rising at 0.5% per hour, which makes him set to pass the 100% threshold tonight. So although Alonso looks set to rise and become the first 5.6 million defender in the game, I'd probably recommend holding off him for your teams, even though you may be able to gain a bit of value. Now there are quite a few fallers tonight, but we're going to touch on the biggest name of them all, as Harry Kane's future still looks uncertain, with big journalists such as Fabrizio Romano suggesting that Manchester City are still involved and looking for a move for the English forward. And although Harry Kane's back in training and posting pictures of himself on social media, he wasn't in the matchday squad for Tottenham's first game of the season, where they scored a victory over none other than Manchester City themselves. So although he was the third highest scoring player in the league last season, with the most goals and the most assists, he was only behind Salah and Fernandez in terms of points, who each played two more games than him. He looks set to be one of the first price drops this year, which I'm not sure many people would have believed if you told them a few months ago that that was going to happen. There have been 29,000 transfers out for Harry Kane alone today, and he's dropping at 0.8% per hour and has passed the 100% threshold, where he's currently sat at over 104% and set to fall tonight. In terms of moving on Harry Kane, Hyunmin Son now looks predictably the most attacking threat in Nuno's side. So in the absence of the man who's been their top scoring player in every season for Spurs in the Premier League since the 2014-15 campaign, if you're wanting to keep a Spurs asset, going for Son looks like the best thing to do as he looks like he's going to be scoring the most points as he's done and consistently delivered in a lot of seasons. 
However, this isn't the most popular exit strategy as you can't obviously move Kane straight to Hyun Min Son. The most popular exit strategy with 25% of Harry Kane's transfers out are for Romelu Lukaku, who's been brought in at Chelsea and could very well get his first start of the campaign away at Arsenal. So that concludes today's player price rises and fall, but please remember that they're not exact science and can always change very quickly. You can track price changes over at fantasyfootballfix.com or download the free app and turn on push notifications so you can see when players in your team are going to rise and fall in price. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. The price changes video, remember, every day at 8.30, but you may well forget, so make sure you don't by turning on the little bell. You can be first to the price changes and not miss a video. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you the same time tomorrow for the latest in price change analysis. Thank <music> you.